It's a real radio. A uh, brand new tune in a minute from the lady who's back with us tonight. It's uh, Sophie Ellis Baxter. How are you? I'm all right, thank you. How are you? Yeah, very good. We were just trying to work out how long it was since you were last here. We, we kind of nailed it down to about 18 months, maybe two Something years. Like that. Yeah. Time flies. I know. Time flies. <laughs> uh, so we're going to play the new single in a minute, which is maybe it's kind of the most chilled out thing you've ever done. Is that, was that what you, oh, chilled out single anyway. I was going to say single, yeah. Um, although I did do one called Today the Sun's on Us, which was kind of a ballady sort of thing. But yeah, I suppose um, this song Starlight has got that sort of uh, mid-tempo electro disco feel. So it's a sort of slightly more slowed down thing, a bit more smoochy, maybe. It, it's kind of got that sun going down on a hot summer's night kind of feel to it. That's that's the kind of so. feeling I got the first time I heard it. It's smouldering. <laughs> and we had your other half, your hubby Richard, in here this mm-hmm. time last week. Yeah. Was so he they're nice? busy as well at the moment. Was he polite? Yes, he was very well behaved. Yes. Very well behaved. <laughs> I think he spoke very nicely of you as well. <laughs> <laughs> then I shall be kind back. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a, it was... Um, it's quite sweet that he's just been away doing the same thing as me, but it was a bit frustrating that we couldn't have made exactly the same time so they could actually see him a bit. Mm. Is there a little bit of friendly rivalry between you and the feeling as to, you know, who's going to nah. do the best in the charts and that kind of thing? No, nah, none at all. Um, in fact, I think it's kind of the opposite, really. We, we both sort of root for each other. And um, I love I love what the feeling do, actually, and I know how much work they've put into this album. So I want the best for them as well. So you've got a new album coming out as well. I have. And is it right that you're already working on the next one as well? Mm, I've kind of made a start, yes. Um, it's a sort of yeah, tentative first steps really into the next album because I always spend ages making records. And I'm also not very good at not being super busy. So when January came around and I, I thought, right, I've got a couple of weeks to myself, I should probably start work. So I've done maybe four or five tracks. I don't know, you know what will happen with them or if they're going to end up being on the album or not, but it's just fun to get started and... I think as well, because this fourth album, the one that's coming out in June, is so dancey and electro and synthy. I've sort of started work on a fifth album that's the diametric opposite of that, just a sort of bit of a challenge for me. So it's mm. kind of much more rootsy and live sounding and, uh, yeah, the opposite way entirely. So, But the new album is, what, number four you've done now? Yeah. And that's what, Make a Scene, which is out, what, in the middle of June? Yeah, June 13th it comes out, yeah. Excellent. I was reading a thing the other day about your kind of daily life and what you eat and stuff like that, and it said that you come up with the inspiration for writing songs, basically doing mundane things like pushing your kids to school and things like that. Yeah, exactly, yeah, absolutely. Um, I, I often, because we have kind of like a 20-minute walk to school, so when I'm on the way back, I quite often will kind of be noodling away little melody ideas or little lyric ideas, and I'll write them all into my phone. And, yeah, so it's often when I play melody ideas back, there's sort of car noises in the background and that kind of thing. Mm. But um, it's quite, I think, you know, most people come up with ideas when they're walking or distracted, don't they, anyway? Sometimes if you try and really force something, it doesn't really happen. So where did Starlight come from? Can you remember where the uh, the moment was that, that Star- well, popped Starlight into your was, head? Uh, yeah, no, Starlight was written in the studio, actually, because I worked um, with a guy called Richard X, who I don't know if you're familiar with him, but I think he's brilliant. He's such a great producer. I think the production on Starlight is lovely. And uh, so I went over to his place, which is in the east of London, and worked with him and a girl called Hannah, who I work with a lot as well. So we were sort of having quite good fun, actually. I think... All of these tracks on this album were fun to make. They all involved us sort of laughing and mm. dancing around the studio and getting ex- excited about the songs we were making. So there was no sort of po-faced pop rising at all. It was all good fun. Perfect summer album then, yeah? I think so. Yeah, certainly it's very confident and positive, upbeat. Um, yeah, I think dance music suits a kind of euphoria, you know, it, it works well. And uh, this was a very dancey album, so yeah. And you've, you've worked with some amazing people on this one as well, well Cal- Calvin Harris and Kathy Dennis as well. She's written, so, uh, well, so many songs, hasn't she, for so many people over the years? Yeah, I mean, I think within the songwriting community, Kathy's kind of, she's on like the sort of top rung, really. She's amazing. And I think what makes her so lovely is not just that she's a really great girl anyway, lovely woman, but she also, she's she's been an artist. So I think that's why she writes so well, because she's not writing in a kind of cynical corporate way. She actually is envisaging what it'll be like to be the person singing that song. And I think, in my experience, a lot of the best writers are people that have been in bands or been artists in their own right. Mm. They, just, they just put it on a different head. They really respect the fact that it's going to be sung by someone and has to connect with them, really. Are you going, are you, you, you've, Collaborated on a song on the new Feel- Feeling album as well, haven't you? Yeah, well, I didn't write it. It's a, a great ballad called Leave Me Out of It. And uh, I was really chuffed to be asked to do it, actually, because, you know, just because I'm, I'm married to the bass player, it's not a given that, you know, they write songs that would be suitable for me mm. or want me involved or whatever. And uh, this song, it, it just really seemed to suit my voice. Um, so, yeah, it's 
It's a, it's a great, great track. I love it. It's probably my favourite on the album, if it's not weird to say it's the song I've sung on. <laughs> but it's just, I like the mood in it. It's got a kind of slightly melancholy yearning in it. And um, I mean, Dan, I think, is such a brilliant writer anyway. Mm, absolutely. And we can see you live out and about this summer. Mm -hmm. Outdoors, though, which is yes. always a bit of a risk. Considering yeah. the English summer, but it'll be, be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Yeah, I'm that's hardy. with a regia. Yeah? Yes. Uh, yeah, I'm doing a tour of forests. So uh, yeah, it's, it's quite fun actually. The feeling did it a couple of years ago, and it's quite a nice atmosphere, quite a holiday sort of atmosphere. Everybody's in deck chairs or sat on blankets on the floor, and they've got their pints of cider, and the sun's going down, and watching these shows in the middle of yeah beautiful forests. So beautiful, excellent. To like. And you're also doing a gig with Brian Ferry as well. I am. Yeah, in Kew Gardens actually. Yeah, so probably another outdoor one there. <laughs> it doesn't get much bigger than him, does he? He's uh, been around forever, hasn't he? Amazing. Yeah, and he's still very smooth. I watched him uh, not long ago actually, and he was great. Yeah, very cool. Fantastic. Well, let's play the new single, and uh, thanks for coming to see us, and uh, I hope you'll come and see us, well, leave it less than two years' time, hopefully. Okay, all right, I shall. Do you want to introduce a single and play it on Real Radio right now? Okie dokie. Uh, yeah, I'm Sophie Ellis and Baxter uh, on Real Radio, and this is Starlight.